never going to get tired of introducing each recording session with this. It was the first day of autumn. So, let's go. I did get to see the glorious Gotham Games logo again. Just a second, my Batman made this. By the way, I did find out what happened to Gotham Games. They were absorbed by 2K. So, yeah. Apparently, 2K owns some Disney games, or so they used to. Shut up. What? Back to Ehor. We gotta help Ehor with his depression. So, yeah. Alright, we're outside where Rue is, but that's not where we want to be. And we go on down again to the tomb that Ehor has made lifeless. By the way, we get to... If you, In case you're wondering, I did call up James P. Sullivan about how Piglet stole his gunshot scare from Monsters, Inc. Scream Team. And to that, he didn't care. He's making people laugh now. <laughs> And he admitted he doesn't use that tactic anymore, because it is a jump scare type of thing, and not something you should use for laughing. The paper bag fake he uses all the time, though! And yes, in case you're wondering, the monster world does communicate with the human world quite a bit, so... Alright. I think we already got the color in here. Just want to make sure. No! We, um... Uh, oh! There we go. Forgot we even had that. It's been like a couple weeks or so since I recorded. Ooh, I have to catch it! I have to catch it because it's alive! Oh my god. Come here! Son of a bitch! You're cornered! Voila! We had to go on a white screen, we had to go to Limbo just to signify we got a color to decorate Ehor um, tomb castle that he apparently built. Apparently he's a genius just like how Gary became a genius in his dream. Alright, so then we have the cookie thing over here. And let's go over here. Last I recall, we already got the color here, I'm not sure. I don't remember Piglet doing the voila thing. Oh, there it is. Piglet wanted very much to catch the ball of color bobbing in the fountain. He would first need to stop the water from bubbling. But how? Uh, how how would he stop it? That is a big question, yes. And I do have a very simple answer to that for the time being. I don't have a fucking clue. I think we did something over here, but then wasn't that just like the corkscrew? Yeah, it was just like the corkscrew. So let's go through the third door and see if we find something. 
Oh, this has reminded me of how I could be playing the Resident Evil HD remaster that I bought in the Resident Evil Origins collection. And yes, I do love the Resident Evil remake. It is a hard game. But I enjoy it because it's a hard game done right. Unlike some other game I'm working on a review for. So... Then I can't wait to play Project Cross Zone that comes out. Yeah, next month. I know that some people had mixed thoughts about the first one, and some people are having mixed thoughts about the second one. I mean, he, I mean, from people who imported the Japanese version, people are saying the overall gameplay is better, but they say there's, like, you can use, like, status update. You can use, like, status buffs to, like, basically break the game. But they say otherwise it is better than the first one. And did I just see a picture of the Mona Lisa with Eeyore's face on it? Did I really just see that? I thought I was about to see uh, Michelangelo's um, statue. What was that statue called? Um, David? Yeah, the one that with the guy standing with his dick hanging out. I know that may sound inappropriate to say, but eh. An inappropriate way to refer to such a masterpiece, because it is a masterpiece of art from the Renaissance. Don't get me wrong. But hey, it had to be censored when it was brought to Bikini Bottom, so. Alright. Oh, shit. And what the fuck is that? Is that the scream with Eeyore's face on it? Eeyore's not supposed to have imagination. It's supposed to be Owl. Oh, my God. Not the ticking clock. Run, run, run! Wow. But we're fixing the Mona Lisa picture that I mentioned before, just a minute ago. Okay, and uh, that does that. It opens a violin picture. Down. I wonder what that does. Oh my god, another fashion model. Aha! Let's fight. Let's use the gunshot scare. Shit. Shit. You just shot it in the face, Piglet. Good job. Sure, it was afraid, but let's face it, he really shot it with a... with a seed that was in his mouth. Yes! The valve would not budge. Piglet. Alright, stop it. Up oh, there we go. That's Water faucet. Turned off. What's turned off? That's it. It's turned on. Oh. Oh, wait. That's it. It's turned off. Wow, he's speaking in, like, the educational voice. It's like, that's it. It's turned off. Though they edited it a bit closer. That's it. It's turned on. Oh. Oh, God. Are we going to flood the place? That's it. It's turned on. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Piglet, you're going to drown yourself. All right, turn this on. That's it. It's turned on. Oh, Jesus. Some pressure was hitting the valve, but not nearly enough. Piglet had to turn the correct faucets. Hmm. What's this? Looking at this drawing, it seems I have to do something with the faucets. The drawing says that too much pressure will pop the valve off. Oh, if that happened, I could use the valve somewhere else. Hmm. Oh, God. Oh, I 
understand. Yeah, I kind of understand too. This is definitely not Resident Evil puzzle difficulty. Then again, this is meant for little kids. But meanwhile, yeah, 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 yeah. Eventually, Chris, Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine will be going through stuff like what you're going through, except they're fighting zombies instead of elephants. Um, they'll be fighting hunters, which are lizard-like things. Instead of woozles, or weasels, whatever. It's turned on. They will also be fighting crows instead of... Other... Th whatever. Actually, there's no other enemy variety in this, so never mind. Alright, now the thing's gonna burst. Oh, so the room's not gonna get flooded. Oh. Finally, Piglet managed to release the valve. But now, uh, where are we going to use the valve? I have no fucking clue. Oh god. Alright, at least we're fighting the standard variant. Nice! Shoot it! Nice. Insta death. Insta kill. Come on, Piglet. You're fighting for your life. Oh my God, the vampire! <laughs> Die, son of a bitch! Insta death. There you go. Piglet's literally shooting them in the face. Piglet's now a murderer. Well, no, he's not a murderer. It's self-defense. These things are trying to kill him. These are freaking monsters. So, he's perfectly justified. He's not going to lose sleep over this. I'm thinking the valve should probably be used for the fountain, even though I have no idea why a faucet thing would be available to insert a valve onto. And I don't think there would be monsters in here where Eeyore's standing, so let's go get the color yellow. Blue, yellow, red. The safe, danger, and get the hell out of here colors. From, well not from Fairly Odd Parents. Instead of blue, there was green. There, oh, yeah, there is a hole. Surprisingly. And now we gotta chase the color because it's alive. And I get the metaphor. Color is supposed to bring life into stuff. Oh Jesus Christ. Come over here! Yeah, yeah! Come on! Jesus Christ. Do I have to go get Piglet scared just so I can keep up with this thing? Piglet, you're not even trying. Finally. Voila. Voila. No, it's voila. You caught it. We're adding color to this work of art. Yes, we are. So, alright, that just leaves us with one last puzzle. How the fuck do we get the color blue? No idea. Now it's dark in here. And then Piglet came to a rather peculiar statue. The statue was holding a ball of color, which he wanted very much. If only he could make the statue's arms open. But how? I like how he says very peculiar statue as if he knows what it's supposed to be based on. <laughs> but the only way we're getting that statue to open itself is by chainsawing its arms off, ruining a good piece of art. So either that or somehow it can move its arms. I don't know.
But is there another door? Or something we can use? Because I don't think there's anything else. Oh, wait a sec. There's that painting over there that we can still interact with through this door. So, yeah. It's over here. Oh, God. Oh, that's the painting we opened from before, which is like a... Oh, it's like a transparent one, like a platform nine and three quarters from Harry Potter. All right, and I keep stuttering very... Oh, my God, another scare. Damn it. How many... How many cook... Holy shit! Holy fuck. Oh my god, we gotta buy another fucking scare. What the fuck? I thought we already got enough scares. No, there has to be two in one level. And we and we're not we're not even close to getting enough cookies to get it. So we gotta go back to cookie collecting. Of oh, fucking course. Oh shit. Now I see we're in a music room, so apparently Eeyore really is trying to be an artiste. Now we're kicking a violin or a viola or what or guitar, or whatever that's supposed to be. I think it's a it's supposed to be a violin. Um a precious musical instrument. Just to get cookies out of it, somehow. And I know that's not it, because we didn't get the voila cutscene. Come on! Alright, what's here? Oh, shit. That looks disturbing. Oh my god. I swear to god, that feather looked like it had a dick on it, just because of its design. Alright, got it. What the fuck? No! Come on! Jesus Christ. Jesus! Now I know! Oh my god. Now I know when it's running out of time. Gotta try again! Gotta try again! Alright, cookies. Come on! Damn it. Of course, we still need a hundred cookies after this. That's gonna be painful. Uh, stop! Stop! Where is it? Alright, this is aggravating! Come on! Get over here! Finally! <laughs> yeah, so, put that thing in your pocket. The or pants, whatever. Or body. Whatever you put that lit candle in. Hang on here. Alright, I have no idea what else is here. Okay, let's keep on a going. Oh my! Wait, 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 wait. Are we doing what I think I'm doing to free that color? Oh, oh shit! 
That thing legitimately scared me! Just because I wasn't freaking expecting it! Wow! I have to grant this thing an early death. Wow. I wasn't expecting a game where you play as Piglet from Winnie the Pooh to scare me. I'm not even kidding, that actually did scare me a little bit. Just because I wasn't expecting the stupid thing to be there. And for that, we have to put them down with a gunshot. God. I don't think I'm gonna be able to sleep at night. For the next few nights. Somebody hold me. Let's go get that fucking collar already. Oh, I gotta take a drink. My iced tea. Alright, let's go do what we have to do. Oh no. The fuck? Wow. Wow. I, I do at least give it credit that I didn't laugh, or else I would have completely called bullshit. Or at least these don't have a freaking time on it. Come on! Come the hell on. Son of a bitch. Come on. Get your fucking ass over here right the fuck now. The or oh my god. Hey! Come on. Son of a goddamn bitch. I know you're the color of the sky, but guess what? I wouldn't mind if we got a pink sky like Mars. Or does Mars have a pink sky? I don't know. Finally. Lala. Wella, wella, wella. Come on, let's go restore some color. Let's go cheer Ehor up with some color to this lifeless place. He apparently has the mental capacity and creativity to create all this art, yet he still feels depressed just because it's not colored in. It sure is pretty with all the colors back, if you like that sort of thing. Sure. Oh, God. No! The lights are out, and now we're trapped! Oh, no. Looks like we've got visitors. But it's too dark. We can't see anything at all. I know. Hey, they're probably going to kill us candy. now that we can't see them. Good idea, Eeyore. I'll go ask Rue to lend us his lamp. Oh, my God. Yes, we have to go get Rue. He's the only one who could help us now. Death is trying to come after us. Oh, God. Nice! Nice kill. They're invading. Alright. We'll fight our way towards Rue in the next video.